So welcome to Guapale's Closer video. We are in Griffith Park, up in uh, Cedar Grove, up in the hills. We're going to shoot this video. It's basically going to be an examination of Guapale striving to get higher and closer to her dreams. So we're, right now in the park, we're going to do a dream sequence with uh, Guapale and a little girl. We're going to shoot that dream sequence, and then tomorrow we're going to shoot her in her home. <laughs> But I really like messages. You're sending messages out to all the people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Roberto's in her bracelet. And this is her ring, too. Her ring. Yeah. The energy is great with her. And this is such a beautiful location here in Griffith Park. We looked at so many forests and this is definitely looks like a stage. <laughs> Did you help with the concept at all? Um, not really. Actually, that was the fun part. Um, this is all Dave and Guapale. So we just, you know, really worked it and tweaked a few things here or there. But this is like all in the family because all these folks are people who have been working with Dave for a long time. Yeah, he, he's a nice guy. That he is. <laughs> that he. Most people know him as the nice guy who's always saying roll camera, but you know he's just as you see him now. Um, he's got a lot of incredible ideas. So I'm just excited to see the finished product. And we love Guapale, so it couldn't be a better match. Couldn't be a better match. So yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. wow. Such a flower. Yeah. Do you think right there, or maybe a little bit more back? Just because the flower is so big. You know, I could choose to have the jitters if I want to. That's why I'm like, oh, I hate it when people ask me that. They were asking me on the way, like, are you nervous? Like, if you I can concentrate on being nervous, but I'd rather be calm. Just do it. Uh -huh, and do it. <laughs> you're doing just, you're doing great. I love Amber's like grounding, you know. But you need those sentiments to like help you get through. You want the jacket too? Oh yeah. Thank you. Guapale is a very unique um, soul. She's um, eclectic. She's woman. She's beautiful. She's um, she's soulful. Uh, she's good people. She's got a good heart. Um, and she just emanates good energy. She's just, um, yeah. Ready? Okay, I'll wait till you take her off. Can you take her off? Mm -hmm. okay. I feel colder. Did it get colder? <laughs> the sun is like. Yeah. November represents the youth, the purity, and innocence of Guapale, if you will, in the forest and. That's pretty much it. Performing here, as well as just seeing an examination of a day in the life of Guapo. 
You know what's really funny? I do this all the time, and for some reason I, I feel like at a loss today. Of this. Isn't that funny? Like I have so less to say, like I'm just like, so, he's like, why is he shooting me? And how many times have I did it? I don't really care about those other ones, that's why. That's why, because I don't care about the other ones. Send down. I'm out here visiting Mr. Dave Dean, doing his directorial debut and uh, showing a little support and love. I appreciated his uh, talent for direction when he works with me. Um, sometimes I'll give him the reins on set and I just really am impressed by the way that he, you know, can engineer an entire set and was intrigued by his creative side so I've been kind of flirting with him on the idea of him directing and I'm really happy to see him here doing it. So I'm here to watch you know, a vision that I saw a long time ago kind of come to reality and enjoying it. So he's doing a good job. Looks very good. Got all the all the crew members together that that are family, and it's just it's a nice warm set full of love. So. So how long have you been kind of nurturing him to move on into directing? Um, I've been nurturing him ever since he showed me a spec video that he did. You know, maybe ten years ago, and. Um, I was really, oh, I forgot what shoot that was on, probably about two years ago, year and a half ago. And it was like this really good hip hop video from like the old school days. And I guess he put it down, his directorial ambitions at the time, and, and pursued, you know, other venues. Um, so ever since I saw that, I was like, look, that, that's more than just, you know, a guy picking up a camera. There's actual vision in, in what you did 10 years ago. And so I've just been bugging him and, and encouraging him, and as well as other people in his life. and. And he finally got an opportunity here, you know, to to come to the table and and, and pursue some of his his visions and stuff that he had from way back. Um, and you know, so I've just been encouraging and nurturing and doing anything I can to help him out ever since I saw that video. And that was sort of the video was sort of marked the first time he actually admitted that he had directorial aspirations. You know, so if you can describe Dave Dean in three words. Um, my big brother that's Dave Dean those are the three words that best describe how much I love him, how inspirational he is for me how, uh, how much of a, of a best friend he's been for me and how much of an incredible crew member he's been here we go so Joe Place here right now. Well, we have reached the end of the day. We're going to do some uh, green screen special effect shots, and then we're going to save the best for last. We're going to do the beauty performance of Guapale on the leaves, and then, like magic, we're all going to disappear, and we'll see her on TV.
Peace.